Hi guys, this is Louis. I'm going to be showing you how to use uh, Blender to import essentially aerofoils from um, uh, websites such as this, the University of Illinois Applied Aerospaces Group. Um, they have essentially the coordinate database for thousand, oh, certain here, 1,600 airfoils. So there are specific airfoils that you want to study, however you don't want to use or you don't have access to, let's say SolidWorks or Katia or Pro Engineer or any of these other applications, and you don't want to, or you're not knowledgeable about using, uh, let's say, XFOIL, or in our case, XFLR5, and you want to use this uh, for Blender either for essentially animations or uh, modeling. Um, what you can do is come to the website and let's choose an airfoil. Uh, and let's say, in my case, a uh, popular airfoil right now that I've used before is the Sea Leg uh, 1223 airfoil. Uh, Sea Leg 1223 is a uh, really good airfoil. It's a um, low Reynolds number, um, high lift airfoil. Uh, it's pretty popular in the RC community and I use it a, a lot in that capacity. So let's choose the s1223.dat file, click it, and download it. Now you have it in your downloads folder. Next, I assume either you have Blender installed or or if you don't have Blender, you can easily just go to the website and download it. It's blender.org. Um, there are many versions. There's the Windows version, and there's the Linux version, and Mac OS. So whichever your choice is, you should use that. Um, in my case, since I'm on Linux, I have it directly installed already through Ubuntu. Anyways, um, nice. download and install Blender and have that ready. Lastly, we need to download the add-on. Um, this is an add-on that I wrote myself. It is uh, essentially a product of uh, my capstone project that I did last year, in which I needed to do a lot of airfoil analysis uh, using OpenFoam. Um, so I didn't have access at home for uh, uh, SolidWorks or Katia. I have it only at school, and I didn't want to bother every time I wanted to check an airfoil, go all the way to school to do import a single file and then come back and then do the analysis at home because they didn't have open format school. So what I did was I wrote a, a small Blender uh, add-on that will do this for me. It will import them directly into Blender and I can use Blender itself to essentially create my wing to study. So we go to the website github.com slash brotherloo slash airfoil. I'm going to include all these by the way in the description so that you don't need to like squint at these things and try to read them. So yeah, so go to the website, ignore the first two files, you don't need them, it's the last one. It's bpyfoil.py. Click on that and then you're gonna get a whole bunch of lines of code. Click on the raw button. Click on raw so that you can get the actual file itself to be printed in front of you. And now what you do is you control S and save it. I'm gonna save it on my desktop just for convenience's sake. So save it onto your desktop. Now that we have all this done, let's get into Blender itself. Let's maximize, press escape to get rid of the splash screen, click on file, and then add user preferences. This is so that we can install our add-on. Click on the add-ons tab if it's not already clicked, in my case it is. Click on add-ons, then install from file. Go to the location where you saved the uh, bpyfoil.py uh, file that we downloaded, the add-on itself click on it and click install from file. Now you should see this bar up here. It's written object, blender, airfoil importer, and then you see a man sort of grayed out, and then an empty box. Click on the empty box all the way to the right and you're gonna see that the man lit up and the actual text lit up. This essentially means now that the add-on is running. Now once we do that, we should click on save user settings. The reason we want to click on save user settings is simply because um, we don't want to do this every time we start Blender. If we start Blender and we didn't click save user settings next time, um, essentially you're gonna have to come in here and then enable the add-on every time. But let's click save user settings. Now the airfoil is imported. Uh, the airfoil importer add-on is running every time. Now let's do some maintenance and clean up all this. We don't need any of these things. So we're not gonna be doing any animations. Now comes the good part. Let's import an airfoil. Press spacebar, then type airfoil, and you're going to see airfoil that file importer. Click on it, and you're going to see on the left side a panel will pop up. 
file the file name is something we're going to choose we can click on the this icon here and it will open um, um, the file browser again what we should go is to the location where you save the airfoils that you want to study in my case I click it's here and then I can just click on this airfoil and click accept now observe it is the airfoil itself now note that if you look on the right if you're familiar with blender it's it's imported as a curve rather than as a mesh I did this just for flexibility's sake we can just click this if we want to import it as a mesh directly but this is not necessary typically uh, what you would do is you will immediately click on import as surface why do you want to import it as a surface is because it will make things a lot easier to actually create a wing from this so check the import as surface and now we have essentially a cut or a cross section of the airfoil imported now let's say we want to create our wing what we do is we go into the modifier tab here the, 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 uh, on the side on the right side there's going to be a picture of a wrench click on that and then click on add modifier the one we're interested in is solidify click on solidify there's a lot of options that show up but the one where we could really care about is the TIC THIC essentially that means thickness of the shell click on that and choose the thickness of your wing uh, typically I do a 2 to 1 essentially if the airfoil takes up one unit the wing should be two units you can make it three four depending it's really a personal choice um, in my case I usually make it two so I just press two and then enter now notice now we have essentially a wing complete wing that we can export now and use in anything we want or actually not even you can uh, use this to uh, uh, as an animation tool now you can use this for visualization of any data that you have it's really useful tool blender not just as a simple animation but actually visualization as well but uh, now that we have done this let's click on the apply button to uh, apply the modifier now there's certain other things that you can do like uh, for example um, one of the biggest things you can do is angle of attack it's really a simple thing let's say you want to change the angle of attack and study it or fall in different angles of attack um, uh, one of my projects that I did recently was for an autonomous uh, UAV and we needed a we used actually a CLEG 1223 and uh, we needed a angle of attack of positive 8 so let's do it let's do the same thing here now that we have a CLEG 1223 let's give it a uh, angle of attack of 3 degrees what you do is you press the R key and then choose the axis by which you want to rotate in our case it's the Y axis and now by what amount as I said 8 degrees you press the number 8 and you press enter now we have our C leg 1223 airfoil at an angle of attack of 8 degrees now here that means now we have our airfoil or at least our model ready to be used in a analysis of any kind in my case I used open foam but if you use an influence or any other so be it there you go you have now wing to use for your airfoil now to export this typically the best uh, format to export it in is an STL so what we do is we click on file export STL now uh, typically people will say it doesn't matter if you export it in binary or ASCII but personally for me when I use uh, as I said open form or any other fluid analysis I usually prefer ASCII even though the file will be larger um, you can um, it's more compatible that's the only way I can say it I find it to be more compatible and it always works while the binary sometimes has issues so I recommend always export as ASCII and to export as an ASCII go to the left side of the uh, of the uh, bar and then you're gonna see export STL the first option at the top is ASCII make sure it's checked and then save your uh, your airfoil your mesh as whatever it is let's say it's C like S1223 dot STL so click export STL now you have the STL exported now just to test this let's run 
Paraview. Paraview is a great uh, post uh, 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 post analysis or post processing suite that's completely again open source, and you can get this again on Windows, Linux, or whatever flavor uh, you want. Um, it's pretty popular. So let's import the STL file and see um, uh, what, what we can get. So open. We can uh, choose uh, STL, or we can just go to the file directly. Can click s1223.stl. Click OK. Then click Apply, and voila, we have an STL file for our airfoil. You can show, you can see the wireframe of it if you're interested to see the cut, the actual geometry itself if you want to analyze it before you put it into your fluid analysis software so there you go this is done now we can use it and do it and we didn't use SOLIDWORKS, CATIA, Pro Engineer, any expensive software some people say yeah you can use XFLR or XFOIL it will do the same thing indeed it can however with this method you have uh, the ability also because you already modeled it in Blender, you can get the results that you get from fluid analysis and put it in Blender and create some nicer, more, especially more eye candy post processing. When you do a presentation, that's going to be more valuable than a simple graph or plot. XFLR and XFOIL is better for analysis and essentially the engineering of it, but this will also help you in uh, post processing. For me, I essentially use this then further after that using open foam to do uh, my analysis so this is just an option that you have so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, or learned something at least and how to use the file and how to essentially go from uh, that file that's available online to uh, essentially a model or a solid wing that you can use in any fluid analysis without piracy or expensive software uh, thank you very much i hope you enjoyed it ciao